Rahul Moinder is with us of VedatechIndia.com. Rahul, good to have you with us here. Thank you very much. Uh, so is this a tradable kind of a move that you're seeing? Uh, you know, it would be uh, crazy to imagine if we didn't get the overnight bounce, right? I mean, for example, the U.S. had sold off a little, uh, some more after the kind of close that we had yesterday uh, with the expiry, etc. It could have been a wild session. Uh, so far, it's, it's okay. I mean, we were up 150. We've given up 50% of those gains. Uh, and it's a reasonable looking screen. Uh, but is this tradable now? Good morning. I think, first of all, uh, from a U.S. market standpoint, I think the indices still look negative there. So if you're trying to take a bit of a global peep over there on the charts, uh, it still looks like we're not out of the woods. And anything that you're seeing is got to be termed as some kind of a profit booking or a relief rally, if I may put it that way. Uh, and, you know, we're yet to really see a breakout, even on the nifty spot. What are the key levels one has to keep in mind just from a slightly broader picture, not just a today perspective? And I think that number is around 16,800. We start getting below that. I think we're going to again push off 4 or 5% of the index. So I think a largest down move can only come once 16,800 breaks. So I think uh, if you're attempting to go long for a bit of a uh, you know a relief rally, one has to keep in mind that somewhere around 16,800, one has to keep a stop if you're attempting this. So one is being a bit aggressive. I'm not saying we're not at a support point, but at the same time, we don't have a signal of a breakout. So even today's opening couldn't even sustain you know, 17,000 for a couple of minutes. So uh, really, we are yet to get that breakout. If I'm just looking at an intraday perspective, <laughs> We still need to get above 16,980 to get a reasonable rally for the day. So in my opinion, uh, we still look sideways to negative 16,800 being the key level in mind. I think the culprit has been uh, the IT pack as well as the Nifty Bank as we speak. You know, the IT pack has uh, been the first one to move into the red. So the IT index actually should come up for you. There it is at the low point. And the other one is the Nifty Bank, which is still holding up in the green. But we have uh, some uh, large components which have moved into the red case in point, something like Kotak Mahindra Bank, which is currently at the low point of trade with a cut of almost uh, half a percent. But from the highs, it's corrected about two and a half percent. Axis Bank 2, which is just about in the green by about three odd rupees. But uh, that too has uh, you know slid about a percent and a half from the highs. Uh, individual stocks, uh, what's uh, on your list this morning? IT, as you started with, uh, that looks like the weaker set. So I've got a sell on TCS, keep a stop loss at 3,045. I think we should slide to about 2980 if you're looking at an intraday target. If you can hold through, we could even test 2940. So uh, that would be a sell. On the buy side, I still think uh, something like a Hind Unilever offers a bit of a safe space. Keep a 2680 stop loss and buy the dips. We could see 2800 in a couple of sessions, may not be just a today trade. And Reliance, I think, is going to be the big trump card. You've got to watch a level of 2320 on Reliance. If for any reason that level breaks, I think it's worth going short for targets, uh, uh, you know, much lower. We're looking at about 24, uh, 2290 coming in below 2320. And thereafter, I think we can slide all the way down to 2140 as well. So keep 2320 in mind on Reliance. You know, an aggressive trader would say, why not buy now with a, with a small uh, stop loss and reverse at 2320? And I, I wouldn't uh, uh, suggest that at this point because we are yet to see a bit of a breakout on the stock. So I'm going to watch these levels, but I think uh, clearly looks a bit negative to me. Okay, all right, Rahul, thanks a lot for taking us through your technical picks. Uh, that's all about technicals of the market.